Over the weekend, the British exit campaign leader Nigel Farage wrote, wrote an op-ed for the Daily Mail in which he compared Donald Trump to Ronald Reagan. Well, I spoke to Farage last week about that. Watch this. What we were sold was a complete pack of scaremongering lies. It was called Project Fear. And I said to the audience last night, you know, you will hear the same thing. You will hear, if Trump wins, you know, we'll play into the hands of President Putin, we'll bring the world closer to war, and there'll be terrible economic ruin uh, come to America. We were promised all the same things, and I'm pleased to say that none of them have happened. Well, he did actually also say that uh, Donald Trump is the next Ronald Reagan, or is Reagan-esque. Trump economic advisor Steve Moore is with us this morning. You helped write Donald Trump's economic plan, and I think you did to some degree copy Ronald Reagan's economic plan, didn't you? It's right there, isn't it? Yeah. By the way, Stuart, everywhere I go now, people say, okay, you're on the, on the board for 4% growth <laughs> yeah, for five years, right. as I said on the Stuart Varney <laughs> show. Who knew so many millions and millions of people are watching, but I'm going to stick with that. By the way, 4% growth, five years, that's like adding another California to yeah. the economy in five years. Okay. So your question was, is Donald Trump a, uh, a, a Reagan? We, of course, we, we took a lot of the ideas of the Gipper. I mean, they worked. We had quarters, you know, uh, of economic growth under Reagan by six, seven, even 8% growth. We had one month under Reagan where we created a million jobs. You can look that up. I bet, I bet yeah. you don't even believe that statistic. No, I remember so, it. Uh, I do remember uh, it. I reported <laughs> it. We were all astonished by it. Exactly. I mean, astonished. So, yes, we, we're borrowing a lot of the ideas of the Gipper. We've moved away from that. There was an article over the weekend that, that in a lot of ways, uh, Barack Obama has been the anti-Reagan. And we need to restore those ideas, get government off the back of business on the regulations, cut the tax rates, uh, restore sound money. All of those things were the pillar of growth. And, and boy, did we grow the economy in the 80s. But look, Donald Trump is not Ronald Reagan. I don't mean that in any way disparaging. He's a great man. I think I've really got, come to admire him. Uh, but, you know, there is one Gipper. Uh, but he's certainly going to move this country in an amazing direction just because he knows business. He knows jobs and Hillary doesn't. I just want to summarize. Yep. Donald Trump would have three tax, tax brackets. Is yes. that correct? Yes. What 33 percent would be the top. I think it's 33. I'm going off memory here. I think it's 33, 15 and 12. Got it. Uh, and then but the most important thing is the business tax which you report every week on this show is the mm -hmm. highest in the world, that yep. will go from 35% down to 15. And, and I want to, because some of your viewers have asked me about this, is that just for the big corporations like GE and Apple and Microsoft? No. Every single business, if you're a businessman and a, uh, or a woman who's running a successful company and you're hiring workers, you're going to get that 15% rate. And why is that, Stuart? We think when businesses have more money, they can keep more of their own money, they will reinvest in their company, they'll hire more workers, they'll build more more factories, and we're going to bring a lot of those companies back to the United States. So in yeah. that way, I think Trump is a little like Reagan, because remember, Reagan cut the highest income tax rates, so are you ready for this, from 70% down to 28%. Now here's your economic lesson for the day. When we did that, a top rate from 70 to 28%, we doubled the tax revenues. That's because the economy grew. Growth. Yeah. Uh, keep, yeah, you should be known as... 4% in each of the next five years. 4% <laughs> more. You got it. Cut the tax rate in half and, you and double hold me the to tax that, revenue. Sir. That's, yeah, don't so forget that. Don't forget. In 2021, I'll be on this show on, uh, on uh, you know, September 1st, and we'll see if, if I was right. And I hope By the way, alive. we're not getting 4% growth <laughs> under Hillary, folks. No 4% under Hillary, I promise. <laughs> Steve Moore, okay. we'll see you again soon.